It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Okay, hello. We're back from our Bachelor recaps and our episode immediately aged like milk. Yeah. We started the third episode and we were like, like everything. And then we found out some other stuff through Googling and we were like, oh no. Oh my God. So we've not been spoiled for anything. We know that Greer defended blackface. She wasn't in blackface. Oh, I didn't But she that. also voted for Trump. Yeah. And so it's in the year 2016. Oh. She defended someone who wore blackface and talked a lot about voting for Trump. Oh, she does not seem. Well, like hang that on. At all. How old? So Greer right now, and it's always a bad look. Yeah. But Greer right now in 2023, and we're white, so old. our our opinion literally doesn't matter. Right. Fuck, I don't know. I thought she was like 26. Okay, so that means let's see, four years ago, in 2019, she would have been 22. So then minus three more years, so 19. It doesn't make it okay. So. It doesn't make it okay, but like, a 19 is different than if she were to say it right now. Now, if we look it up and she's 30, I'm hating that. Yeah. no, I'm hating true. it regardless. I hate it a lot. I hate Very it. Yeah. bad. So, <laughs> so our two faves were Greer and, and Christina. Christina. And Christina's been <laughs> voted off with good reason. Oh not my voted God. Not off, I guess. Like, she's not on the show anymore. Oh my God. Stick with your instincts, y'all. Yeah. Because <laughs> we did sense that in At the first, first yeah, episode. At first we were like, maybe they're, she's going to be the villain. And then I was like, oh. No, I think they just wanted us to think that for a second because she was so nice. Yeah. And, and I felt like she handled the thing with Brianna the same way I would have handled it by being like, oh my God, like, I'm so sorry. I don't even remember saying that, but like, you know, it's yeah. still your feelings. That's still important. And I was like, hell yeah. And then, so the first thing that people are annoyed by in the third episode with Christina is uh, they are claiming that she keeps being like, that's so interesting because on my one on one with him, we ba 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 ba. And I didn't feel like she was bragging personally. I feel like she just doesn't. Like, she just wasn't thinking about how it was coming off. And then Brooklyn, um, the horse girl, pulls, like, doesn't pull her aside, actually, but, like, is only talking to her, to Christina. And she's like, hey, like, you're on, always saying, like, my one-on-one, my one-on-one. And as she's saying that, Christina, back to her, is like, my one-on-one. Like, and I felt like the energy was like, oh, I get it. I'm being annoying. Like, yes. Totally hear right. That. Yes. And I was like, okay, like, I feel like she handled that well also. Like, we didn't really get to see how it resolved so much, but it was really, uh, Brooklyn saying, like, hey, here's something that I think is annoying me and is annoying other girls. And Christina was like, totally get that. Was not my intention. So fine. Then at the end of that group date... Um, Charity gets the rose, who is one of the few black girls. Super they, cute. Yeah, so, yeah. She's really cute. We really like her. They she was like, so happy about it. Yeah, oh my God, she, she was, was so, so excited. excited. Like, and then Christina, like, everybody's like, how are you feeling, Charity? You must be so excited. Da, 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 da. And then Christina's like, I mean, obviously, like, I am so confused. Like, I thought I was going to get it, and I'm, like, angry that I didn't get it. And everyone was like, what the fuck? And we were like... She said, obviously, it would be me. Duh. Yeah. Literally said that. No, she said, obviously, I want it to be me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Which is different, but... As if that makes it okay for her to no, say that to a yes. group... Of people who and, are dating the and same And the other you thing are. is, I was like, it's not like anyone, as far as we saw, asked, like, Christina, you haven't said anything. How are you feeling? Oh, and, no. and then it still would have been, like, snotty of her to be like, well, I'm confused. Obviously, I wish it was me, duh. But I would have been like, you know, they asked how she felt and she was honest. But nobody asked how she, she just said that with no reason. Yeah. At and least then, the way they edited it. Which, yes, regardless, that's, that's not an okay thing to say in this context. Like, that's no. so And then rude. everyone else was like, what the fuck? That's so rude. And then Charity left crying, which makes sense. Because she was upset. Uh, and it's just them going back and forth. It's like Brooke and Christina. And Brooke being like, now is not the time for that. And Christina's like, what? I'm going to say how I feel. Like, I'm going to be, like, open and honest and, like, 100% with y'all. And it's Brooke being like, that isn't, no. Like, that's too much. Yeah, like, can you see how asked. upset? Like, you made someone upset. Like, Charity is, like, really hurt now. Like, that wasn't fucking cool. Like Very reasonable about it. Yeah. yeah like, honestly. not, like, getting on her. Like, no. just was very honest. Very, yeah. like, hey, are you sure you understand? Because what you're saying is really messed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she did not get it. Fully did not get oh it. Oh, my God. So then at the pool party, which I guess we should probably start from the beginning, perhaps, mm, yeah. because there were some cute things that happened. So maybe let's like back it up a little bit. Katie had a one-on-one -on -one with lanterns in a museum with a sleepover. Yeah. It's the second one-on-one -on -one and it's a sleepover. Which is very And we spicy. don't know if they fucked, you know what I mean? And if they did, she between them. The girlies were like, did you get any sleep? And she was like, no. So like, oh, 
I mean, I think you're right. No, but I think that's what they're going to think. But it could also... They definitely all thought that. Definitely. Yeah. And then, yes, all the other girls definitely think. It wouldn't there's... really be right for her to be like, you know, here's the scoop. Right. Yeah. But the other, the other girl, there's another girl who was like, oh my God, you like had your own like fantasy suite, like as your first one-on-one. -on -one. And she's like, ha ha ha, kind of, you know? So like, and I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Everybody, all the girls are looking like sick. Like, yes, yeah. like ill. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my Which god. Which is also understandable. Yes. Um. So Katie had a seven year on again off again relationship. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She keeps saying like I've never had anything this romantic happen, and it turns out she's basically only had one like well, boyfriend, like shitty boyfriend. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like. And she literally was like crying, like tears streaming down her face as she's telling Zach this, and Zach is like, "Hey, I appreciate you." Like literally says he was he very soft, he was and he was so like, sweet. he was like, whether it's me or someone else, like you deserve for someone to be romantic with you and like yeah. do these things for you like this is the bare minimum basically yeah. and yeah. it was really nice also they had like animal themed matching silk pajamas <laughs> they were so for cute. their little <laughs> like it was literally it's the cutest thing i've ever seen in my entire life yeah the next thing that happened that was shocking to us was that Catherine comes on screen and all of a sudden they're calling her cat and we just love yeah. yeah so they're giving, calling her cat with a k now <laughs> out of fucking nowhere yeah. yeah they didn't really explain it at all which is i mean really they didn't weird. really need to but no but i'm so curious in the next episode if she's gonna be Catherine or if she's gonna be cat because like what the fuck if was it that? was like they mom said maybe they both go by cat but because they wanted it to make it easier they like since Catherine got added second they were like yeah you yeah. Go by Catherine. it had to be something like that yeah she was cute though we liked her there although was a... sometimes they do do like cat p or that's what i'm saying so they could have done yeah. that it was I weird <laughs> yeah weird. super weird there was a football group date which is boring always to uh, me. yeah I don't oh, know. they're always boring to me but there was another red flag about christina yes we found out that she's been doing crossfit since she was 11 oh yeah which sounds like child abuse honestly yeah. so i don't think that's like a red flag at her but it's a red flag about her upbringing yes yes and, and it's about a, maybe her personality and it's a red like, flag that she would bring it up as like well i've been doing crossfit since i was 11 so like you know like i think i'm gonna do a great job at this because like that don't brag like that literally no but some well one that's girl normalized really got hurt for her because she's wearing yeah. a yeah. light sling later yeah Mm -hmm. I don't remember yeah. who it is. I think it's not Allie. It's somebody, though. Yeah, so that was spicy. And then I literally wrote down... So first of all, one of the team's names was oh. the Balzacs, which is <laughs> so funny. And they're like, haha, we're the blue team, so we're the Balzacs, which is like really funny because yeah. obviously Zach's name is Zach. And then Brooklyn, I wrote it down that she was snotty again and that she was weird to Christina. And every single thing that happened with Christina and Brooklyn, I'm now like looking back on and being like, I actually am... Like, Brooklyn probably is fine. Yeah. Like, it's probably totally fair. And I can't imagine how frustrating it would be for this person to be continuing continually like pushing this boundary of people being like you're making us uncomfortable and then just like not fucking picking up on what would be the considerate thing to do and you just have to keep having that conversation with them yeah. but brooklyn seems to be the only one who spoke to her directly and was like yeah. hey like stop That's doing that i appreciated that and again yeah. it could all be editing for all we know every girl is always talking to everyone about their problems but the way they edit it i feel like normally it seems like nobody ever talks about yes they're always just like telling going to the guy or to the girl like to the bachelor or bachelorette and being right. like yeah so and so is really creating drama in the house and yeah. never actually talking to that person about it. And this has been really good because they do directly go to that person. But here's the thing. I think we were bamboozled. Yeah. <laughs> From episode two, like, I don't think... Because there was kind of... I think there was, like, rumblings of people saying that about Christina. Yeah. And we were like, okay, they all seem nice, but maybe they're just, like, ganging up on her because sometimes that does happen. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't see evidence of no. that. But the evidence we saw in episode three tells you it was definitely there. For yeah. sure. They skewed it so you would really like Christina. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I also feel like it was on purpose. And when we talked yes. about her little joke where she came in and she was like, haha, did you guys think I was the bus driver? And then she's like, do I look like a bus driver to you? She is saying that to make people uncomfortable. Yeah. I think she was. I think the whole thing was a power play. I think she said, I hate you on purpose. Yeah. To that girly, to yeah. be snotty. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I think every single part of it has been calculated. And we were just giving her the benefit of the doubt because we were like, no, but she's a mom and her parents are famous, so she's been on the spotlight a right. long time. Right. So and like, we hadn't seen all of that stuff surrounding it. No. So obviously the girls that were really upset and yeah. like... Um, Brianna. Brianna. Yes. Like, she had seen all of that and was yeah. like, no, I know where this is coming from and I know that and this it, is mean targeted at me. Yeah. yeah, so that's so fair. I mean, it was Not that before. we were. Yeah, it was totally fair before, but, yeah, but we were just like, really... are you sure, though? Yes. Because we just didn't see any of that, yeah. which no, was not fair. The other thing about this show is that people love to bitch about nothing and they love yeah, to, like, offhandedly vent about something and have the producers turn it into a plot point. So, like, 
it, it's hard to tell when people are genuinely hurt for yes. one it's hard to tell when something was like an actual stressful occurrence for instance the next thing i've written down is brianna dry eye crying and i think the first two episodes we saw her do it once and it's she's not the only girl to do this and it's not her fault but it's like a couple of times people are crying and they're like it's so fucked up oh my god and it's like hey, your hands aren't wet at all, baby. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's okay. Like, you can be emotional and be choked up and not actually cry. But, like, I feel like it's, like, the, like, wiping of the eye that gives it away for me. That I'm but like, that one time she actually, the, her, like, talking to the camera after she talked to him yeah. was, like, she had been purposely doing that. Yeah. Like, she had been making it seem to him that she was actually crying yeah. when she fully was not. Yeah. I don't yeah. remember the exact circumstance, but... It's a weird flex. It was weird. It's a weird flex. <laughs> um, Bailey kept on saying that she wasn't feeling validated and got sent home literally on the group date. In the I think middle of it was. Date. In the middle of it. She clearly got... And that's my thing that I really appreciate about Zach, is that twice yeah. now, girlies have come to him and be like, hey, I just really need to be validated by you. Like, I'll go home if, like, you're not feeling it. And whenever they're doing that, it's clear that they think that he's going to be like, oh my god, no, I'm obsessed with you. And well, both and times. that has also happened... So it's happened three times, because that happened oh, with right. Gabby. Yeah. She was like, if you don't want me here, I'll go. And he was like, I really get butterflies around you. She's the one with the peanut butter. Oh, that's true. And that's he kept happened her. three times. And he's kept one person yes. who validated her. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And two other times, yes. both with um, Bailey and then later with Brianna, they were like, hey, like, I just don't know if there's something between us. It seems like you have stronger connections with other people. Yeah. And he was like, you're right. Yes. I don't want to play you. Like, you can go home now if, if you want. Yeah. I, yeah, I love that. Which is just I, it, I appreciate sure. that. Um, I said that Christina was mean with a bunch of exclamation points. Because it was, it was during the group date that she was mean. Yeah. Oh, after but the then, rose was given, and then later at the pool party, we see more things. That's wait, fine. but when um, Bri uh, when um, Bailey goes home, Bailey goes oh, yeah. home. She's like, that's well, what that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that is what she it was, was. Everybody's sad because their friend has left, which is totally valid. Like you are all dating the same vibe, but you do like get to know people. Uh, yeah, yes. but she was like, well, this is what's supposed to happen. Yes, Duh. she's like, that's the that point of the show. That was literally her attitude. And yes. everybody was like, and Brooklyn's like, we're all sad that our friend left, and literally says it like that. And like I was like, okay, Brooklyn, that's a little intense. And like Christina is right, and like I just kept on giving that girly pop the benefit of the doubt, and should not have. Yeah. So next, Allie gets a one-on-one -on -one skydiving. Um. Uh, date and it was very cute. I thought that their vibes were really, really sweet. They were skydiving and he was wearing a tux and she was wearing like a wedding pants. Suit. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was, very, white. It was, it was really, really cute. cute. They seemed like they both were stoked and had good vibes together. She did get a rose. Um, Morgan said that the country singer seems like he was made in a lab, which is true. <laughs> yeah, like, but they do this it's all the time. It's a country singer and we yeah, have a bachelor country. and they'll be like, they'll be, the boy will be like, I have a surprise for you. And she's like, what is it? And he's like, Hunter... Garth Brookson. Brickley, Maine. Yeah. Field yeah. Is here to do a one on one performance. And then she's like, oh my, oh my God. God. And it's like, he's not famous. And then, you know and then like, in like the really one on one, one. Yes. The one -on -one <laughs> interview with the girl is always like, oh my God, I got to see Hunter Brixley Mason perform live. And yeah. it's like, they had to write that down for you to remember. Like, yeah, you did yeah. not heard of him. You did not know And like, that live man. music is always cool, but it's literally like, it's never anyone. No. No. Real. No, which is fine. I don't give no, a shit. No, but it but is so really funny, funny because I love that they're like, okay, you have to pretend you know who this is. Yeah. yeah. To both of them. And live, again, live music is super fun. Like, I would be stoked. Like, it doesn't matter who it is, but it's yeah. really funny. Um, I wrote down pool party short shorts because I was oh, wearing yeah. <laughs> they were very cute. They were really cute. Listen, I hope that more boys do that because it's adorable. Oh, it's definitely so like cute. back in for as, sure. As and they were really in in the 90s. Boys in like crop tops. I need more boys in crop tops. Yes. But the short shorts are definitely back in. Adorable. Obsessed with it. Um, He decided to do a pool party instead of a Rose cocktail ceremony party. instead of a cocktail. Yeah, sorry. Whoa, before a cocktail ceremony. party before the rose ceremony. And it was way more. It fun. was very cute. It was fun for the first chill. That's true. And <laughs> then <laughs> Brianna is like, "Oh, uh, I'm gonna go talk to Zach." And then she's like, basically just telling him, like, "Hey, just so you know, I'm leaving." And it's because I don't feel like we have a very strong connection. And he's like, "No, that's fair. Like, I feel that." And then she's like, "I do need to let you know. It's literally because of one person. I feel like I could have opened up and been vulnerable here, but like Christina has rancid energy, and like all these girls is they deserve to feel safe." like in the house she says like, like Christina not. because Christina's always bragging about her connection with Zach that like yeah. other girls feel like they can't form a connection with him yes um and like that sentence by itself like taken out of context I feel like isn't really fair because like I feel like all girls are gonna say like here's something that he and I have yes and like yeah you aren't gonna have that like everybody has different relationships however yeah 
like that is the shortest way to say what's happening because Christina's like, oh, well, my one-on-one. -on -one. And like- That was the first time we saw that where she actually yeah. was. Cause she started out with not telling them that she had met their whole family, which right. seemed a bit like a kind thing to I do. I do think it was still, a green flag. I still think it was a kind thing to yeah, do. Oh, yeah, oh, so, like, totally I was. I don't think it was calculated. But it, I don't think it was them. calculated either. Because yeah. then we see her saying, well, on my one-on-one, on my one-on-one. -on -one, and yes. then they're basically like, oh yeah, did you have a one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Oh, really? Like, yeah. and she would not shut up. And they confronted her about that again yeah she does have can't shut up disease yeah and she just didn't get it mm -hmm. at all that was the second so time. then in the middle of the pool party like brianna's crying and she's leaving and zach comes out to like all the rest of the girls sitting there and he's like so as i said before i really don't want drama and he's the first bachelor to say that and then he mean it. yeah actually. he always sends anyone home he fucking yeah. deals with it um and then he's like you know that's that's it and i hope because he's he says he's gonna do something <laughs> and then does it that it does T like put a damper on the drama because like yeah. people will be like well you know he's gonna send me home if I tattletale on so and so yeah so I don't yeah. know but um so he does pull Christina aside then and she immediately starts sobbing I mean yeah. she and knows like, what she's done exactly she has to. but she just keeps too dramatic. she keeps being like I can't believe this misunderstanding is happening and the bet the best part is first of all they're like having this conversation and then she goes and she poses so she's like sitting down sobbing in this there's like these three like window type things like inlets in the thing and they've got these like curtains yeah it's clearly like what so they she's in the it? center one I don't know like, it's like Santa an... Cruz there's a word for it that they use on house hunters I don't know for the way that the house is built Santa Fe Sa oh style. Santa like Santa Fe style yeah it's really cute it's she's got, like in this yeah a little like tile cut she out. set up like an Instagram photo like on her like knees she looks like, like a Disney sobbing. princess like, she does she's like crying she's like sitting <laughs> down and as they like get ready to leave for the rose ceremony these girls are walking past her just like not fucking acknowledging her as she sobbing i was oh cackling. but actually two of them even though she's been obviously a heinous bitch That's to true. them yeah two of them did stop to talk to her so these girls yes. so many of them are so kind really yeah. sweet. like beyond i'm scared though i'm yeah. scared for the I'm upcoming nervous. episodes because our last one aged yeah. so badly um the other thing was that after talking to christina zach immediately uh pulls aside charity mm -hmm. and because uh brianna said brianna said that uh she was the one who cried and yes. so it charity, ruined her like her getting, getting the, the rose, rose. The rose. Yeah. yes and so he talks to her and she's just basically like i don't think that she was like malicious or anything oh, she just no. literally clearly Very was honest. like no like that was my experience like it's really i don't understand why she's doing that like it's stressful yada yada so that happened and then christina i think was the only one who was going home with the rest yeah because it would have been two. it would have been three getting sent home yeah. that week but he sent home bailey and brianna during the group date yes because they asked so and she so was the only one going she was home. the only one going home at the end of the rose ceremony yes so I would have said that my favorite still in the game is Greer, except for having just learned the stressful things going on about her. So let me- uh, My favorite's Ariel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure, I don't know if it'll age badly. Right now, Ariel walked on screen under the limo and I said, she's my favorite. Yeah, that's true. She's very she, beautiful. Oh she's gosh. gorgeous. She's so Stunning. beautiful. I feel like she's a very commanding voice and presence. Yeah. And I think that'll compliment him really well as far as like, he's very, and they're both like, like every time we've seen her talk, it is very like caring. But like what I what I love is to see like a man who's in touch with his emotions and then like a woman who is like not taking anybody's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I think it's they complement each other well. Yeah. That, those types complement each other well. Yeah. But we'll see. We've only seen three episodes, so I'm sure she'll go home now. Probably. Because yeah. I just said that I like her the most. Do you have yeah. a favorite mom? Um, I really like Catherine a lot. I do like Catherine. She's yeah. very cute. She seems very sweet. Horse girl's growing on me. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn's cute. Yeah. Um, Katie immediately became like a, yeah, a top fave for me after oh, her one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. She seems like kind of like shy, but like she was so cute. Like they had a really Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I really liked her too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm certain that Christina's going to end up on Bachelor in Paradise. And so. Oh yeah. She'd be perfect for that. <laughs> I, do, I just, I genuinely don't understand. It's either that she, and it's possible for her to be like so socially unaware aware that she's not realizing how much she upset people or she's very calculatedly like the most selfish person I've ever seen on That's the show. That's a lot of work though. Like I, I don't know how she but could be know. She's super selfish regardless. That's true. She's definitely really self-centered and yeah but I mean they were so clear and explained to her. Yeah in such a nice way like but but problem. facts this yeah. is what you're doing do you see what you're doing and she's yeah. like i'm not doing anything 
And I also while saying the exact same thing again. that they just told her, yeah, they didn't appreciate, which is fair. I also feel like if she was autistic, she would take that note because that has been my experience as an autistic person and with other autistic people. That like, if you just outwardly tell someone like this is really not working for me, it's like, oh shit, okay, cool, that sounds great, and like that's not what it she seemed did. Like at she all. did that. It did. Her response was like, oh my god, yes, completely understand. Yes, I hear what you're saying. And I don't know if she just, like, when she's tipsy, forgets everything in the world. I have no idea. It was like she was a this different show, person. I was really so want to see, mean. like, a sober season. Like, I really <laughs> want to see, like, like, what has been... There are a lot of folks, they don't make them drink alcohol. I've heard people talk on podcasts about this. They don't at all, especially after there was like a sexual assault allegation that happened on Bachelor in Paradise. And so they have really strict rules around like how much alcohol you're supposed to have. They should. Supposedly, because Kat, again, was She's on been something. Just pre-gaming or something. I have no yeah. fucking And like, clue. maybe I'm sure they like could have some in their rooms. Like, I have no idea. No clue. Also, if you haven't eaten anything. Yes, yeah. You never thing. see them eating. <laughs> no, well, it's because the food for the dates is like super fucking cold because they've been, you know, doing the shit for hours and hours. So the food's never tasty. Um, except that's why you see them when they're doing their little like street tacos and other shit. And like, other, they're, they're like so excited because they're eating it right there. We can have hot. food today. Yeah. Yes. This is so horrible. Really fucked up. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. So I don't, I like, I know there are people who've been on Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise and Bachelorette who are like, oh, I was completely sober the whole time. Like, I don't drink. And they just like don't talk about it on the show. So like, I don't know. But yeah, like an alcohol free season would be bonkers. I'm just curious, like how it would affect the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. But yeah, because I don't know. So, all right, we're going to probably go watch episode four now. I'm so scared. Yeah, <laughs> no, we just can't trust the editing. We know no. that. I well, mean, we I always knew, knew that, that, but like, whew. but I've never seen it this, like, they lied to us. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll right. see y'all probably in a couple of days. <laughs>